crazy. Like, um, this is the second time I talk in public about this movie. And the first time was when we were doing fundraisers a couple of years ago. And at that time, I was talking, because we'd already made uh, shoots in Greece and Poland. So we had some footage, I'd read some books, and I basically just talked some shit about witchcraft and uh, what I thought we would do with the money that people would give us. Now, two years later, what this movie and what I will talk about now is totally a different thing. Because when I started this, I had uh, every intention and uh, was very honest in wanting to learn about this. But that was just the first stage of this. Because it's something, as you watch this movie, that will become very apparent is I didn't go to film school. <laughs> and no one told me that just pointing a camera at something made a movie. And this is really evident for anyone, for you watching this now. So I, I had to learn a lot, really quickly. And actually, so we had a lot of uh, downtime in this movie. And then after these failed shootings, we had a big six months where the, the cameraman, who was my partner for the first half of the documentary, Tanasis uh, Tatavalos, where we actually were just at Tatavalos. Sorry, Greeks. Tatavalos. Yeah, you hear me? Uh, where we had six months of friction, where we just didn't know what to do. And then the last, kind of the third part of this documentary, which is actually getting the shit together and learning, realizing we had to make a story out of it. And the whole reason why it actually came together is because of Mario Bucci here, who saved the entire project and his hard work and advice and mentorship in making this movie and also tireless efforts to get this done, I could not do without. I went to a, I have a degree in philosophy and I've been a musician for most of my life. When you start to make a movie on topics like this, it's been very obvious that I, I don't have a background in an ethnology. And this is a really important thing because you can piss off a lot of people really quickly <laughs> when you don't have the respect and the boundaries that uh, a degree in ethnology, or at least that. There's just times where this documentary looks plain, plum, mondo. Which is a... Uh, it's also hard because I love Mondo films, you know, as much as I love ethnography, I've probably seen a lot more Mondo. And anyone who's aware of Mondo and this exploitation of cinema, but this is just, it just happens. It's hard to go into another person's culture and another person's home and not look like an outsider. And I smile a lot, which also, you know, just, just looks Mondo in the end. Especially, and you notice, you see here there's subtitles, and you understand what they're saying, but I don't speak Greek, I don't speak Serbian, I sure as hell like, don't speak Bulgarian. So a lot of the times, I just look like a smiling, dumb mute. You know, something <laughs> very important is happening around me, and uh, without a good explanation of the ritual that's going on, and the elements, and the symbols, or the language, it's also a problem. But anyway, you'll see what I mean. This shit is crazy because nothing of what I realize that the difference between archival uh, images or something that's just set up as a pure plain eye to something and that big jump into becoming a documentary is the fact that you put your own voice into it. And as soon as you do that with any images at all, it actually becomes something totally different. Like it's impossible to be neutral when you're making a film, making a documentary. In any case, thank you everyone who helped and who donated their money or time or is even just interested tonight. Thank you everyone for coming. Let's roll this shit. So the last thing to say is this movie is indie as fuck. <laughs> like we I think from our total, like, three rounds of fundraising, we maybe made 2,000 euros. I borrowed 1,000 euros from Tenassus' parents that I had to pay back. I just plain stole from my parents and family. This, this shit is, like, really as uncommercial and raw as it gets. And everyone who is in it, everyone who gave, like, professional advice, professional uh, editing, animation, sound, all the people who guide us, uh, who, who did translations, who led us around, they all did it for free. So I couldn't have done without a huge cast of hundreds of people. Oh, yeah.